What's up? How are you guys today? Welcome back to another month's Q&A. If I missed your question, please leave it down below. I'll answer it. Maybe we'll save it for the next Q&A. What are your thoughts on bee pollen? Would you consider it a delicacy or a valuable health supplement? Love your channel and have been watching for several years. Any of those components of honey, whether it's like royal jelly, the propolis, which are like the bee parts or the pollen, it's supposed to be incorporated into the honey and consumed in a very small amount. It might be okay for stimulating an immune response for allergies, but really it's not something that I would consume on a frequent basis as a supplement. If oxidized cholesterol and fat are terrible and cause heart problems, isn't all cholesterol fat we eat oxidized if we heat it? Therefore, isn't most fat we eat damaging our health unless it's eaten raw and fresh? No. Just because you cook something doesn't mean it's oxidized. It might denature the proteins or fats slightly, but that's nothing that the body can't deal with. I mean, there's people that live to 100 and 110 and they eat well-cooked meat their whole lives. There are many modern lifestyle factors making it harder for our bodies to deal with cooked food and going raw is not the solution for that. Hey Frankie, I was wondering, what do you currently think about high meat, raw meat? because I don't see as much raw meat as before, thank you. Uh, so I still cook my steaks blue rare. The jerky we make is dehydrated at a very, very low temperature. And I actually had some steak tartare with mustard, salt and pepper the other night. I have water kefir as my probiotic now, instead of the high meat. You just really can't get the fermentation correct. When the Alaskans did it, it was like over the course of a year in a very, very specific humidity and temperature. So just because you leave meat in a jar for a couple months doesn't give it a good probiotic content. What pans and bowls should I use for cooking? Are ceramic ones fine? No nonstick, no Teflon. So there are certain ceramic line pans that only have ceramic and those are good to cook with. I have a whole video in depth on this if you want a more detailed answer. I use stainless steel because my parents wash it every single time I use it. And in order to really use cast iron or carbon steel effectively, it needs to have a layer of seasoned fat. With stainless steel, it's not 100% necessary, although having a stainless steel pan seasoned does help. Is whole wheat sourdough bread made with rye and spelt flour healthier than regular white flour sourdough bread? So this is an incredibly subjective answer. It depends on the type of soil the grain was grown in, how you prepared it, is it organic, is it high quality, what's the mineral and anti-nutrient profile of that specific grain. The easiest answer to that is, you know, do you enjoy eating the bread and how do you feel after eating it? My girlfriend struggles with fatigue. Do you have any advice for her? Thanks for another year of great videos. Keep up the good work. Uh, thank you and I have several videos. I think it's titled Six Basics of Health couple of other ones that are similar, like how to be healthy. My first bet would be that she has to reduce the Wi-Fi EMF in her environment as much as possible. You can wear protective clothing. I have on Wi-Fi shielding.com that I wear everywhere I go, sleep in a bed canopy. That's the first step. And then I would follow a diet similar to what I've been doing for the past few weeks. Very simple, steak, potatoes, no supplements. Maybe get some blood work and hair mineral analysis to try to figure out if there's any nutrient deficiencies. What's your opinion on combining carbs with fats, especially about the Randall cycle? Is it a problem or when the quality of meals is assured, it's no big deal? Uh, so yeah, I did a video on the Randall cycle and that was basically my conclusion. If the food quality is very high, if it's fairly reasonable and natural to eat whatever quantities of each of the foods you're consuming, then yes, it doesn't matter if you combine carbs with fats. Frank, have you ever thought about getting children from RuneScape? And I'm having flashbacks because I used to play that game when I was a kid. Uh, so I think I answered this in a past Q&A. The idea of having a family, a beautiful wife, you know, being happy, all that stuff is nice. But getting to that point right now, pretty unrealistic. What form of cardio is better for weight loss? Running, skipping, swimming, dancing, all of the above. Thank you. Uh, so I would say whichever one is in a low EMF environment. So if you go hiking out in the woods, that would be the best. You want to reduce the oxidative stress and inflammation as much as possible. You know, someone goes into a gym, gets fried by all the Wi-Fi, even though they're doing resistance training, 
it's just not healthy for your body. My little brother uses Bluetooth headphones every day. What damage do you think that's doing to him? So on the low end, you have fatigue, insomnia, just being tired, you know, having a bad train of thought, like you forget what you were thinking about 10 seconds ago. On the extreme end, you know, you have kids that have dorms next to cell towers and they get brain cancer in six months. So there's varying extremes to what can happen, but you can just Google, you know, side effects of EMF and you'll see plenty of studies listing what symptoms you might have. Would you still recommend taking your organ supplement in its current form? Like, is that ratio of vitamins ideal? Wanted to get some, but wanted to make sure new knowledge hadn't changed your opinions. So the thing about animal glandulars isn't necessarily the physical nutrient profile, although the vitamins and minerals help. There's some type of biological compound, I'm sure the elite sociopath parasites know what they are, that actually benefit your body. Like, Testicles have testosterone. Thyroid gland has thyroid hormones. We can assume the brain glandulars have some type of brain hormones. That's why you're consuming the food. There's physical cells in the dried gland that will go to your own organ. Uh, you can check those out on organsupplements.com. Why don't you have a girlfriend, Frank? You're good looking, smart, awake, and motivated to do your best. Is this a reflection of modern day Western values? If someone like you can't find a girl, or is it just because you're too busy with work? I mean, it's a combination of things. I never really had any success with online dating, so I kind of gave up on it. And since I work and do YouTube every day, I, I literally don't go out. Like when I used to bartend and stuff, I met people on occasion, but I guess I'm just a loner, but it's not that I don't want to go out, I guess, though, as I've gotten older now, I can't even really bring myself to have fun or want to do that. But, I mean, you know, it kind of sucks thinking I'm like 29 years old and I never went to go out and have fun and now I don't even want to bother doing it anymore. But, you know, that's partially due to the liver damage I had from Accutane when I was younger and my health problems. And now that I'm finally getting better, you know, I'm almost 30 years old. So I've, you know, focused my energy on helping people in my business as opposed to that. But, you know, there's also the side of, you no know, modern woman. What's your opinion on consuming five grams of L-glutamine supplement daily for overall gut integrity? Might be one of the most overhyped supplements uh, with the exception of collagen. For gut health, you just want kefir. Go to frankiesrangefoods.com. We have kefir grains, high quality water kefir that will get your gut straightened out. L-glutamine, collagen, all of these amino acids, they're in steak, they're in meat. If you're eating quality animal protein in your diet, you don't need it. Do you have any advice regarding skin health and more specifically acne and skin tone? Uh, so I think I will do an updated acne video soon. Uh, very quick answers. Drink water kefir. Stay hydrated. Take a shower once a day. I, I mean, I'm eating pasta and bread every day and my skin's perfectly clear. Oh, also go tanning, get some sun. That'll help a lot as well. That's mainly for clearing the skin up, refreshing the skin, fixing the healing process. What are your thoughts on cold showers daily and the Wim Hof method? I did a video on that fairly recently. I don't remember exactly what I spoke about. There are definitely benefits, but go watch that video for a more in-depth explanation. Not sure if you've ever done a video or spoke on your thoughts of the GAPS diet for gut healing and psychological disorders and overall improvement of health. We'll love to see a video on that. Uh, so it's definitely better than the standard American diet and people have had success with it. I think there's a lot of flaws in it. Uh, but maybe I'll answer that in depth in another video. The short answer is no. Is a zero fiber diet healthy? Uh, this is another topic I need to do a video on. And the answer is no, mainly because you need fiber and roughage and bulk in your digestive tract to detox your liver. Hypothetically, if you were a hunter gatherer and there was nothing in your liver you needed to detox because your environment's perfectly healthy, then maybe fiber isn't as necessary. What's your taste in music? I feel like you're the type to drive in silence. Also, have you ever had authentic Cajun food? Blessings from Louisiana. Uh, I used to listen to the radio when I was younger. Sometimes I listen to music. Now I mostly listen to YouTube podcasts or TikTok when I'm stuck in my car all day. Never had Cajun food. I, I watch a lot of videos on it and some of the stuff is interesting, but maybe I'll do some recipes in the near future. Are flexibility exercises good? So 
every type of exercise has its benefits. I said earlier, try to make sure you're in a low Wi-Fi EMF environment when exercising, but if I had more time, I would definitely do everything from running to stretching to resistance training to playing sports. Would you ever move from the US to let's say Europe? I mean, right now I, I just try to focus on my business and grow it and just help people improve their health through that. The discussion of what I would rather be doing, such as climbing up some Dutch girls and feeding them cheese, I mean, maybe in the next life. What can I do about memory loss from a former vegan diet? Is there any use in going to a neurologist? Uh, so doctors generally don't understand the root cause of disease, so that's kind of a wash. I would say just make sure you're getting plenty of B vitamins. Reducing the Wi-Fi EMF might be something you've overlooked that you're not doing. Uh, but, you know, just go back, watch through my YouTube videos and see if anything sticks out. How much animal nutrition do teenagers and young adults need to grow optimally? I believe within the past few months, I've done a video talking about childhood nutrition, saying that just eating a lot of beef is an excellent source of bodybuilding nutrients in developmental stages. How dangerous are five gram phones? Like compared to four gram phones or compared to low Wi-Fi EMF environments? All types of radiation are damaging to your body and I have a pretty extensive playlist explaining that in depth. When are you going to propose to Hitomi? Uh, so to be serious for once, there might have been a point in time where I would have collabed with her just for content, but not a chance. <laughs> What's your New Year's goal you want to achieve? Uh, not completely lose my mind with my business to the point that I start doing drugs with Colombian girls. Pardon me, I have one question. Would you date a vegan woman? Why would you or why wouldn't you? <laughs> so since you asked so politely, I have been with a vegan woman before, but they didn't know about my YouTube channel. And ironically, the only girls I had sex... Oh, <laughs> <laughs> what a Freudian slip. Success with messaging online that actually responded to me. They were vegan and they didn't want anything to do with me. Is protein okay for someone with kidney disease? I did a whole video titled, Is Protein Bad for Your Kidneys? Definitely check that out. What would be worse, tap water or plastic bottled water? Well, if you're at a retreat in the Swiss Alps, tap water isn't too bad. You know, I've traveled a few times, I've been like out driving in the city and I've had to get like a bottle of Pellegrino in plastic or a bottle of Fiji water. That's not too bad, but it only happens a few times a year. How to cultivate a sharper mind and reduce brain fog. Uh, so when people fast, they generally feel better. The main thing would be to reduce the Wi-Fi EMF, as I mentioned earlier. Just make sure you're getting your nutrition in. Healthy gut is also very important drinking water kefir because things like candida, fungal overgrowths will mess up your mind as well as your stomach. Liposomal vitamin C better than regular C. Liposomal stuff, I mean, it's really a, a lucrative gimmick that I don't think is necessary for any supplement. How to kill methane SIBO. Uh, so I would definitely watch my videos and podcasts on how to heal your gut microbiome. You might have to do an antimicrobial protocol or you might just have to change your diet, drink some water kefir as a high quality probiotic, perhaps some mastic gum as well. Been sick, how to get rid of strep throat. Uh, so we did like an iodine oral nasal flush in a couple weeks ago. Reducing EMF is a big one there. Making sure you're getting enough vitamin C. Check out the morning routine I did a couple days ago. That's a good thing if you're sick as well. So that's gonna be it for today, guys. Answered quite a few questions, as I mentioned earlier anything else, please let me know down in the comments below. You can check out some of the businesses I mentioned on frank-stefano.com. We have everything on there, a lot of interesting stuff. But thank you guys for joining me today. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again for joining, guys, and I'll see you for tomorrow.